Now let's see the performance test of Autodesk Maya inside HP ZBook. So for testing, I just load three default scene which comes with the content browser of Maya inside uh, three different Maya. So one, I have a fluid example, Maya fluid example. And the second one is the Bifrost example. And third one is again the fluids example. So let's just start with our Bifrost and let's just play that. As you can see here, our CPU is right now, nothing is in use and GPU is 0%. Let's just play the game. So if I play the simulation of Bifrost particle simulations, and this is actually a bridge collapsing scene where a bridge is collapsing under the water. So here you can see that particles already collision started and our CPU 100% reached. So one Maya already reached 100%. What about the others? Is this our system? our scene uh, our system is still responsive we can move around things and the simulation going on in this maya this is not responsive this maya is somehow uh, locked but your system is free your system you can actually use for something else also okay so now we have since this maya free let's just play the simulation here also So meanwhile, now our this simulation is also playing and we are getting a FPS around 7 or 8 because our parallelly two simulations going on in this. This is live, no caching and I did not cache anything. So this is everything simulation calculation going on live. Okay. And your CPU now fully 100%. GPU is no issue. Now let's see our we have our third Maya open and this simulation is very heavy heavier than these two. So still my system is responsive. All right. So now let's just go and play this one. And this is a nuke explosion. You can see that. It's very heavy and the FPS we are getting is around 1 or 4 FPS and that is when we are actually 3 simulation parallelly running and now I can see the system is getting little bit uh, I mean uh, there's no proper response but uh, let's see no it's actually responsive i can see things there no problem and memory is 8 gb used so far gpu is not used because we are not going with any gpu part here okay so with that we run parallelly three maya let's stop one by one so let me stop this and our Bifrost simulation stop that also since our both Maya stuff is stopped and now we can see the simulation is again going on it's very good explosion put it back now let's just maximize only one so right now our all Mayas I actually stopped all simulations now only one Maya is active and previously we get the frame rate of around 3 fps but what if only one maya is running if only one maya is running then you will get around 13.3 fps and this is when when you actually make the resolution higher because i just increased the resolution for this previously this resolution was was 40 40 20 so 40 40 and uh, 20 with 40 40 20 we should able to get a pretty decent frame rate 34 fps okay now let's try one more thing uh, 
uh, viewport 2.0 is selected here and uh, performance GPU and select close back play right so as you can see that now where is fluid is very fluid <laughs> okay so i mean overall maya voice like it's all already good and previously we just see the houdini is also good and guys this is not just full and final review of maya working with rtx card or intel card because this topic is definitely very big and in this video i just want to give you one I understanding of some initial idea about how this system how this software works wins with HP ZBook and uh, the first impression of these softwares okay so let's just go continue with our next software testing which is blender